Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. My name is Tia. I hope you've had a great day. If not, I hope you do something extremely kind for yourself today because I already know you deserve it and you do too. So engage in some self-care if today hasn't been everything that you wanted it to be and more. So today we are talking about the three places I love most when I was doing my Southern Europe tour. I went technically to four countries as you've seen from previous videos, but only three of those countries will be mentioned because the fourth country, Turkey, I only spent a fraction of a day there. So it doesn't quite feel right to name a favorite place when I saw so little, but I did spend several days in Lisbon several days in Benal Medina, as well as some time in Granada. And I did spend a week hopping amongst the Greek, Greek Isles, can't talk. So Greece is probably the hardest for me and Spain is definitely the easiest. So I'll start in between and start with my first stop, which was in Portugal. My favorite place in Portugal was Cascais, believe it or not. I went to Cascais as part of a several hour tour and I loved the feel. The vibe was kind of laid back. I like Sintra too and I like Estoril, but Cascais was really nice and I know why I like it. It's expensive, of course. <laughs> it's, it's more of a pricey place to live, but it's beautiful and I just love the vibe. It seemed very relaxed and it was a nice place. So Definitely, it was my favorite place to visit while I was in Lisbon and the nearby areas because it is basically a town outside of Lisbon. So Cascais for Portugal was my favorite. Uh, do I want to go to Greece or Spain? Let's keep it in the order of the trip. I'm sorry, guys. My um, eye right under my eye has been itching me. So going to the next stop which was Spain of course Alhambra which is uh right outside or right in Granada I think absolutely beautiful a spiritual experience and I'm not even exaggerating definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been on earth I could absolutely go back many many times and I think I'd fall in love with it all over again with each visit so for Spain absolutely the Alhambra hands down. Definitely my favorite place of the entire trip, but um, as far as Spain specifically, my favorite stop. And for Greece, now you all know from my Greece video, I didn't really care for Santorini that much, but I loved Milos. Milos is a little bit more laid back. It gives me kind of the similar energy to Kashkaj, where yes, it's popular, people visit, but it's not overrun by tourists. It still has a bit of an authentic vibe. It doesn't feel like a tourist trap. It's beautiful. Uh, the beaches are beautiful. The people are nice. The food's good. You know, all the things that you want from a place, but it does not feel too rushed or too touristy, which is big for me. So it was not surprising to me that my friend that I traveled with has a friend who either currently owns or used to own a condo in Milos. So that doesn't surprise me. It absolutely sounds like a place. It feels like a place where you could set up a vacation home and you would just use that as your base when vacationing because it's just a really, really nice island. And so that was my favorite. And I went to several Greek islands and Rhodes might be my second choice. Um, right next to Milos, probably Rhodes, but uh, I think Milos won me over because it was just, it was just a little more laid back and it was absolutely beautiful. So that was really quick. I thought that would take longer, but it didn't. Those are my three places that I loved the most of the countries that I went to. And I know that in Portugal, the National Palace is in Sintra. And I did go to Cabo de Roca and I mean, like I did the things, but Cascais won me over similar to Spain. Yeah, we did Granada proper, which is nice, but the Alhambra, they could have had the Alhambra in any part of the country. And if I had gone there and it had the same, and it was designed the same, that building was what mattered. It wasn't so much the location for me. <laughs> so the Alhambra is 
just, ugh. there's nothing I can say about it other than it is a must-see if you are in Spain. And then, of course, me, the island of Milos was just perfect to me, just the perfect place for a vacation. It had everything that you'd want, beach, heat, sunlight, beautiful buildings, but not nearly as many people just kind of crowding and overrunning things. Milos would be my number one pick with Rhodes being my second choice for Greece. So what are your favorite things in the countries I mentioned? Portugal, Spain, and Greece. I'd love to hear. Um, please let me know in the comments below. I read them all. So if you have any other thoughts, I'd like to hear them. And yeah, less than six minutes. Who knew? I will talk to you all soon. Take care and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.